So Ellen pointed out that we have four options for tests. Uh, and I had a question about uh, the HMH CAS practice test, how long that might take and what's in it. So I'm going to go through how to access that. And then we'll have to make a decision uh, at the ninth grade level um, if we want to use this or not. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to go ahead and log in to HMH. And I'm just going to kind of go through this step by step, even though most of us know how to do this. Some of us might not. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through it. Um, and uh, love this default back to 10th grade over here. Let's go ahead and make sure that that um, is working for us. Once you've logged in, um, go down, of course, to ninth grade. OK. Um, and then what happens is, is we want to go over to the HMH1 assessments. So if you go right here, you can see the actual assessments that have been created. Um, and I'm waiting for it to start. Okay, if we go to assessments, if you click right here, uh, what we're going to find is, is we're going to find the assessment library that we can push out to students. And this will be the practice test number one. Uh, practice test number one has 30 items, and it is separate from the actual performance task. There are aspects of this that I believe qualify as a performance task, but let's just look at it for a moment. So if you preview it, and I'd suggest previewing it for just a couple minutes, I'll tell you really quickly what's in here. So perhaps you don't have to do that. Uh, there are uh, seven questions for the first text, which is a challenging text. Uh, and then there are uh, questions about main ideas, figurative language, supporting the main claim, lots of stuff like that, the author's purpose. And then you've got another text uh, from Great Expectations, the second one, uh, which is going to be pretty challenging for students. Um, and you have to basically click through it. I can't do that right now because I've got something else going on. So there it is. Uh, so as you go through this, just kind of look through and see what it is. Uh, but uh, you'll see that when it gets to Great Expectations, it uh, gets pretty challenging uh, in the text. Uh, once you get halfway through, they're going to be looking through some uh, uh, some things at the sentence and paragraph level, coherence, things like that. Um, and then what happens a little bit later is the students actually have to write um, a second paragraph over here, which I believe qualifies as somewhat of a performance task, uh, partly. And then we have some things with listening. So they're going to have two listening exercises, one from LibriVox, one from NPR, and they actually uh, answer some questions. So. Uh, you'll have to decide how long you think it's going to take students. They have to make some changes to, to some um, research stuff over here. So I'm thinking this is going to take two days. Um, you might be able to get it to, to from some of the fast finishers might go one day. Uh, the, um, the other option is, is we can actually edit this, but that means that we all have to edit it the same way, I would assume. And so that can be pretty challenging if you just press edit down here. Um, you can you can add items and you can change items. The challenge with that is that we would all have to do the same exact thing and I don't know exactly how to push out a copy of that perhaps to everybody and have it be assigned. So that's something that can be discussed, but um, I hope that makes sense um, to everybody. And um, let me know what you think. Uh, oh, here's how you push it out. I forgot to put that on there. So the way that you'd actually push this out to students would be uh, to go back over here and then, of course, assign right here. So for grade nine, ELA practice test number one, and uh, here's our classes. So here you go. Um, here's period one. You can just check to see if you have the right names there, and then we can assign it um, based on those dates. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope that this made sense. I thought this would be faster than going to four different classrooms, and everyone knows where it's at. So uh, very cool.